<laughs> There's a few more since I started speaking a few minutes ago. <laughs> Those are their priorities, not jobs, as evidenced by the willingness to lock down, as evidenced by campaigning with a guy that poisoned the waters in Flint. Yeah. 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 Guess what? That's like a negative endorsement. That's like that's like the Biden endorsement that he got from Osama bin Laden. <laughs> no, true story, you saw this, right? So oh the God. raid that killed Osama bin Laden, they carried they got some paperwork. Nine months ago, they declassified that paperwork. This happened almost a decade ago. In it were correspondence between Osama bin Laden and some of his top henchmen. They wanted to assassinate Barack Obama because that would put Joe Biden in charge, and that in and of itself would be destructive to America. I mean, think about this. <laughs> 10 years, 10 years after his death, Osama bin Laden may get his wish. Ten, I mean, I understand. No. But think about it. I mean, I know endorsements are coveted in politics, but I don't want Osama bin Laden's endorsement. But the guy that Osama bin Laden wanted to run America is the Democrat nominee for the president of the United States. Oh. Yeah. So we need you out there. We need you calling your friends. We need you texting them and making sure they vote and vote early and bring them to the polls. Do not take anything for granted. You see the games that are playing. They're playing with your lives. They're playing with your futures. They're playing with your jobs. They're playing with your children's lives. Think of the tax cuts that they want to eliminate. Think of the $4 trillion they want to spend on health care for illegals. So they get it for free. Now, you don't get that for free. No. Education, same thing. For illegals, for free. You get to pay for it for them and for you. No. We need some common sense in this country, and you have it in the White House right now. That's why we need four more years. So do it!